Hello everyone! In this video, I will show you how to create a feature that steers front wheels of the car. So, if you press left or right button, then both of the front wheels is rotated in the same direction. Scripts will be available by the link in the description. So here we have a car parent game object with two wheels as a children. Car game object has rigid body to the component attached, with gravity scale set to 0 and linear drag set to 5, so car reduces its speed without acceleration. Car steering script helps to control car's movement. In one of the previous video, we took a closer look at this script, so if something unclear for you here, then you can refer to 2D car steering video. Ok, at car steering script, acceleration power set to 10 and steering power set to 0.5. Now let's take a look at car sprite. Select it and hit sprite editor button. Sprite's pivot point is positioned at the rear axle of the car, so car rotates around this point. It provides more realistic car rotation when it turns. As I said, car has two wheels as a children. They are positioned at opposite sides of car front axle. Both of the wheels have wheels control script that helps to steer them. This is quite simple script. Here we have vector3 local angle variable and float steer angle variable and max steer angle variable which is set to 30. In update method we set steer angle variable to value that arrow keys give us multiplied by max steer angle. In late update method we get local angle first then we set its z axis value to steer angle value and then set wheel transform rotation to local angle. Pivot point of each wheel also is shifted a bit. As for left wheel its pivot point is positioned at the right side of the wheel, so wheel rotates around it. Right wheel's pivot point is shifted to the left side, so it rotates around it too. For example, if I select left wheel and rotate it around its z-axis, you will see how it rotates around its pivot point. Same thing about right wheel. That's it. So this simple script and shifted pivot points help us to create such interesting feature. Hope you like this tutorial. Thank you for watching. See you next time.